happy Mother's Day to all of my PA moms, my healthcare moms, my moms in general. Um, you guys are killing it out there in the mom game. I see you, your family sees you, your kids see you, and we're so proud of you. So kudos to you guys. You guys are killing it in the game of life. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about putting all of your eggs in one basket, which is pretty funny because, you know, mom's eggs, whatever. Anyways, I digress. Okay. We're going to be talking about, should you just apply to one school? Um, kind of what are the risks and benefits of doing that? And, uh, is it a good idea? So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you didn't know, it's Mother's Day. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know that you guys can be doing any other thing, um, but I appreciate you watching me. So if you haven't already done so, you're new to my channel, go ahead, take a look around, subscribe, um, like this video, you guys, because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot, okay? Um, but I had a question asked by Sophie Taylor. Um, she asked, hi, I have a question in regards to applying to PA school, which is essential right now. So get me in all of your guys' questions because CASPA is open, the new cycle to apply to PA school for this 2021-2022 um, cycle is open now. So get me those questions in so that I can answer them um, in a video form or in the comments. And then also, you know, you can also go to Get That C University because we do do consultation sessions, so your questions will be answered there as well. All right. So she said, in regards to applying to PA school, I'm working on my undergraduate right now, and I feel very confident in applying to one particular school that's within my state. I'm planning on working my undergrad patient care hours and job shadowing around this school's requirements. I'm wondering if this is a risky choice and I'm putting all my eggs in one basket with only wanting to be accepted to this one school. How many schools should I apply to? How many should I apply to? How many should I be looking at in regards to differing prerequisites? Thank you. All right. So this is an amazing question. And I think it's a question that most people have, like, how many schools is the right school? Like, what is that sweet spot? Um, you know, I've had people that have applied to like 30 programs and people that have applied to one. Um, and both spectrums have gotten in. I've had people that have applied to 12 and to three. And again, both spectrums have gotten in. So what is that sweet spot? Now, I'm always the person to say, apply to as many schools as your pocket will allow, okay? Um, for me, my pocket wasn't set up to apply to 30 schools, you know? So at the end of the day, I had to be very, very, very picky and choosy with the schools that I wanted to apply to, how many I wanted to apply to, and then how I met those prerequisite requirements. So let's kind of unpack your question, right? So you asked, um, is it risky putting all of your eggs in one basket? And honestly, it can be, um, but that again is all relative. Risky is based on you. Like your risk assessment is based on you and your life, right? Risky in what sense? You miss a year of PA school and you have to apply next year. Yeah, sure, that's a risk. Uh, is it a risk that you're willing to take? If so, then go ahead and do it. Um, risk in that maybe you miss out on two years or you've spent, you know, $175 on an application and you didn't get in. Okay, so there, there are some risks that you have to take into consideration, but if you're younger, uh, you know, like if you're in your early to mid twenties, uh, a year missed out on PA school isn't necessarily like that big of a deal as if you were in your late thirties or your forties or your fifties, right? So again, that risk assessment is something that you have to address and you have to assess and see, okay, am I, what am I willing to do? What am I willing to lose? You know, I've been like investing in, you know, like various different, um, companies and you only put in what you're willing to lose. That's the risk that you're willing to take. And so for me, um, that's how I look at my investments. And this is an investment on what 
you want to do for your career. It's an investment on your life. So you put in what you're willing to risk and what you're willing to lose. So if it is a matter of you're you're willing to risk this time, then okay, that's fine, okay? So that's your first question. Wanted to unpack that for you. The second one is how many schools should you apply to? I mean, honestly, Sophie, you should apply to as many programs as you can possibly afford to apply to. Um, if I could have applied to 30 programs, you bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> I don't know why that came into my head, but like you're, I would have absolutely done that. Okay. I would have absolutely applied to 30 programs if I could have afforded it, but I couldn't. So for me, again, it's a matter of how many of our schools you're able to apply to. I know that you're saying that you're catering all of your shadowing hours and your re your prerequisite requirements and also um, your healthcare experience hours to this particular program. Um, and I mean, I don't know the circumstances and why you want to just stay at this program. Maybe it's just because it's close to home. Um, but for me, the luxury I had, I was willing to go anywhere and I could because my my husband worked from home and my family was young um, and I was able to they were able to kind of move with me and that's not something that you're able to do and then okay you know you have to stay in that particular state and therefore yeah you do have to cater your stats to that school but if it's not then branch out you know spread your wings and fly like don't put all of your eggs in one basket because um, you know if that basket happens to fall uh, the majority of your eggs will break. Um, and so I want to ensure to you that you are making the best decision for yourself and for your life. So absolutely, as many schools as you can possibly apply to, go ahead and do that. Apply to them and make sure that the prerequisite requirements are based on those various different schools. Now you can be really choosy and picky in the schools that you're applying to and that's where your research comes in. And if you've subscribed to my channel and liked any of my videos and you've seen me talk about you need to do your research, you need to do your research, you know, you have, this is on you. That is like one of the big proponents of the things that I kind of preach, I guess you can say. And that's because it is important for you to look at the school's nitty gritty, all of their little like fine prints because you don't want to make any mistakes in your application. So when you're researching these programs that you might want to add to your list of schools that you want to apply to, definitely look and see what schools fit the prerequisite requirements that you have. Um, what schools fit you essentially, you know, sometimes you want to cater yourself to the school, but there are, there are so many programs out there. There are over 200 programs. You can cater the school to your prerequisite requirements and to your stats. And so it's going to be a little bit more lengthy of a process, you know, going through all of these various different programs, but there are so many, many resources out there to help you with that. Um, there are people that are doing sessions, you know, not just get that to university, like our consultation sessions are a little bit different, but there are people that will actually go through these things with you and look at programs with you so that you can actually see what schools you can apply to. Um, there are apps like my PA box, which allows you to kind of just filter in things. Um, and if you are deciding to do that, I do have a code. So like use my Adana, the PA code. I, and I believe it's like, you know, case sensitive. So I'll write that somewhere in the description box, but use these resources because they will allow your, allow you to make your life and this whole application process a lot easier. But I honestly think that all of this is obviously based up, the, up to you. I'm not saying anything novel here. Um, the risk is what you assess it to be. So yeah, it can be risky putting all of your eggs in one basket, but you know, Okay, you know, that's the risk that you're willing to take. And then furthermore, um, how many schools you should apply to? As many as you possibly can. So if you apply away, okay, if you can afford it, apply to as many schools because that just means you're broadening your chances, right? Um, and then you asked with respect to differing prere re prerequisite requirements. And like I said before, you don't always have to cater yourself to the school. You can find schools that cater to you and that fit the prerequisite requirements and all of the stats that you have, okay? And I think that's honestly the best way to go about applying to programs.
All right, thank you so much for this question. This was an amazing question, I appreciate it. If you guys have never left me a comment or a question, go ahead and do that right now, okay? Leave me a comment, leave me a question. I do respond to them and I do make videos out of them, okay? And if you haven't already done so as well, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adon the PA and on Instagram at Get That to University. We have a lot of resources out there for you to help you get into PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.